When young couple Cheryl and Lynn Howard had their first child, they were flabbergasted at their dog's strange behavior with the baby. When they finally figured out what their pet was doing, they were shaken to the core. Howard and Cheryl had been together for roughly 10 years when they found out they were pregnant. A few years back, they had begun trying to have children but had some struggles along the way. Cheryl had a rough time facing the possibility that she might not be able to have children. Howard loved his wife, and it had broken his heart to see her like that. So he had gone out and purchased an adorable, loving dog. When Howard brought the dog home to Cheryl, she had been enthusiastic. She had named the animal Mittens and poured her love into raising and training him. A few years had gone by, and while the couple enjoyed their life with Mittens, they had never given up on their dream to have a baby together one day. Howard noticed something peculiar happening with Mittens. The dog would not leave Cheryl alone and would whine at the door, even if she just had to use the bathroom. Howard looked closely at the pup but couldn't notice anything wrong with his health. Perplexed, he went to sit with his wife. That night after dinner, when he got close to the couch, Mittens hopped on Cheryl's lap and growled at Howard. The couple was thoroughly confused. Mittens loved Howard and was usually very happy when he had the chance to share the couch with his owners. So what was different about this day? Cheryl had a theory, but it was a wild one. Mittens was becoming more and more protective of her, especially when Howard kissed or hugged her. So she slipped away to the bathroom to test her theory. Twenty minutes later, she came back into the living room in tears. When he rushed over to Cheryl, it was only when he hugged her that he saw the positive pregnancy test clutched in her hand. Howard joined his wife in crying happy tears, and then he went and gave Mittens tons of treats for being so loyal to his mom. What a perceptive dog. Luckily for Cheryl and Howard, their dog continued to try to protect his family well after the end of the pregnancy. After what felt like an eternity, Cheryl finally came to term and delivered a beautiful and healthy baby girl they named Skye, a nod to the bright blue hue of Mitten's eyes. Cheryl came home to find her husband and best friend there, eager to celebrate and help with Skye. She also had someone else to rely on. Cheryl and her best friend Wanda had become friends right around the time she had met Howard. Wanda had been a bridesmaid at their wedding and spent a great deal of time with both of them. She had even helped them find their house. The couple unanimously decided that she would be Auntie Wanda for Sky and were grateful to have the extra pair of hands while they adjusted to this new chapter in their lives. Oddly, though, while things appeared to be going very well, Mittens did not seem relieved in the slightest. The dog continued to guard both Cheryl and Sky and spent the first night with the baby frantically begging to stay near her the entire time. Now, this was strange to Cheryl and Howard. They had thought that Mittens would calm down after Skye was born, but if anything, the dog became more agitated than ever. Howard and Cheryl let the behavior slide for a few nights, being so exhausted and overwhelmed themselves. Perhaps the whole house would be discombobulated for a little while as they welcomed Skye into the family. After about a week, however, Howard began to worry. Mittens was following a new routine where she would guard Skye at night and refuse to go on walks if Cheryl and the baby were not going. Around two months after Skye was born, Howard and Cheryl were both fed up with their dog. It was a difficult situation. They loved Mittens through and through and wanted to keep him, but they were growing more uncomfortable with his recent rebelliousness. Skye's safety was the highest priority the couple had so they had much to think about and very little downtime to discuss things together. That is until one night when Howard schemed with Wanda to arrange a date for Cheryl. Wanda was to come over and babysit, so that Howard could surprise his wife and take her out to dinner. It was a beautiful gesture, and Cheryl gladly accepted the chance to go out for the first time without Skye. When the time came to leave the house, she felt very nervous to leave her baby. She was so thankful to have her bestie there to help, but even Wanda could not calm Mittens. When Howard and Cheryl walked out the door, Mittens was barking and howling and clearly distressed. Cheryl almost changed her mind about going but then took a deep breath and left, hoping to show Mittens that it was no big deal to be separated for a while. 
the couple had a wonderful date that night. They were able to commiserate about mittens as well as discuss things from other parts of their lives. Howard was a highly esteemed government worker, and he loved sharing tidbits from his job. Cheryl enjoyed hearing about anything that wasn't baby-related since her past two months had been full of sky. It was very unfortunate then that Wanda called halfway through dinner to ask them to come home. Apparently, Mittens had tried to bite her when she put him in his crate. He became inconsolable, and she did not know what to do. Howard and Cheryl cut their date short and went home to help her. When they got home, Skye was in her crib, asleep, and Wanda was watching television in the room with Mittens. They apologized to their friend and made sure she was all right. When Wanda left, Cheryl turned her attention to Mittens. The dog was acting very strange indeed. As the front door closed, he calmed down immediately. Howard opened the crate door to let the dog out, and the couple stood in confused silence as they watched their dog happily stride towards Skye's room. They decided to go to bed and try to figure Mittens out with clear heads in the morning. Howard awoke, remembering the security cameras he had installed in his house a few months earlier. He rushed to his computer to see what had really happened between Mittens and Wanda. Maybe that would give him a clue as to what had been triggering the poor dog. But Howard was shocked when he saw that the footage from the previous night had been deleted. Perplexed, he searched further through his archives and realized there was a huge amount of deleted files. Howard felt a chill run down his spine when he figured out the pattern in the deleted files. The footage was only missing from Skye's room. Almost every night since Skye was born, the images had been deleted. So Howard set up a new hidden camera and backed it up separately from his usual system. He didn't want to scare Cheryl, so he didn't tell her about it until the following day. When he looked through the video, Howard ran to show Cheryl immediately and she started to cry as she ran and phoned the police. The couple could not believe what they had seen in the hidden camera footage. The police arrived at the scene to confirm that indeed someone was breaking into the house at nighttime. They would climb in the window to Skye's room and depart the same way. Howard and Cheryl were horrified to realize that someone was continually sneaking into their baby's room. This horror only grew when the police informed them that the person in question was a woman named Wanda. It turns out that Wanda was actually a foreign intelligence agent on a job monitoring Howard's work in government security. She had laid the groundwork almost a decade previously, first becoming the couple's best friend and then finding them a home with a small secret room built in. The police knocked down a wall in Skye's bedroom to find a little nest of research on Howard and equipment for long-range correspondence. They also found a safe with money and passports. The police searched for Wanda but have yet to find her to this day. The parents were horrified at the thought that they had left their helpless baby in the hands of a woman who had only feigned affection towards them. Wanda was probably never going to hurt Skye but the lies she had told them were enough to make them fear and despise her. Mittens calmed down significantly from the day Wanda disappeared, and Howard and Cheryl treated her like a hero for the rest of her life, grateful for her protective behavior over their baby girl. What an incredible twist. Have you ever trusted a friend or family member with your children and found out they didn't deserve your trust? A huge crow appeared at the girl's funeral. Suddenly, the crow flew to the crystal coffin and put something mysterious into the girl's mouth. People tried to drive it away, but it kept repeating this action, trying to tell people something, when the truth was revealed, everyone was shocked. Rodney and Cynthia were once a perfect couple. They met when they were 14 years old and grew up with each other in the future. They have a common dream and have been working hard for it. Rodney and Cynthia love adventure, they have experienced many wonderful things, they think each other is the best partner, so they got married with the blessing of many people, after marriage they have a beautiful and lovely daughter Mary, the life of a family of three seems to be very happy. However, with the passage of time, this seemingly perfect love is slowly changing. When they were in their thirties, they also realized that the relationship between them as husband and wife was developing towards rupture. Arguing about various things, and they can't understand each other more and more, and even start to get tired of each other. Rodney sometimes wants to separate from Cynthia, 
but when he thinks of his lovely daughter, he can't be cruel. He hopes that Mary will have a happy childhood. In fact, when Mary was only five years old, she had noticed that her parents seemed to be arguing a lot, and Mary felt a hostile atmosphere at home, which made Rodney very sad as a father, even though he didn't love Cynthia anymore, but in order to give his daughter a happy growth environment, he chose not to leave, and continued to endure Cynthia's unreasonable and arrogant. Mary likes to play outside so she doesn't hear her parents arguing and at the same time she gets fresh air and fun things to do. Mary has always loved exciting play, loved being surrounded by nature, and dreamed of being a part of the fun outdoors when she grew up. There is a huge garden near Rodney's house, which is big enough for Mary to ride a bicycle in it. Mary often rides her bicycle to play in the garden, although the distance from home to the garden is not too far, but for young Mary, it was enough to make her breathless and sweaty, but Mary was happy and enjoyed the activity, she said. One day, when Mary was playing in the garden, she suddenly heard a strange sound. Curious Mary followed the sound to find the past. She stopped by a big tree, and she circled around the big tree several times. Unfortunately, she found nothing. However, when she was about to go back the same way, a small yellow flower fell on her head. Mary looked up the tree, and she was surprised to find a big black bird staring at her. The young Mary didn't feel scared. She judged that the big bird should be a crow. Although many people think that the crow is a symbol of bad luck, for innocent children, any animal is their friend. Mary shook the yellow flower on her hand to the crow, hoping that the crow would come down from the tree. The crow seemed to have read Mary's heart, flew down from the tree, and landed at Mary's feet. Mary squatted down, she looked at the big black guy in front of her, and the crow was also staring at the little girl. At this moment, the crow slowly approached Mary and sent another beautiful little flower to her. Mary was very happy and it was from then on that Mary and the crow became good friends. The crow waits for Mary in the garden every day. As soon as it sees Mary, the crow will immediately fly to Mary and send some beautiful flowers to her. After receiving the gift, Mary would put the little flower on her head and circle around the crow happily. At that moment, she was the happiest and most beautiful child in the world. Mary named the crow Dom, and as time passed, the crow got used to the name, no matter how far away it was, it could find Mary as quickly as possible when it heard Mary's call. The relationship between Mary and Dom is getting better and better, but she never mentioned it to her parents. Dom seems to be relying on Mary to some extent. It can really perceive Mary's heart, and it may have discovered the sadness of this little girl. It always tries its best to make Mary happy, and picks more flowers for Mary. With Dom's company, Mary also becomes more and more happy. However, the conflict between Mary's parents became more and more serious. Rodney and Cynthia quarreled more and more, and they even quarreled in front of Mary, which made Mary's heart more and more sensitive, but Rodney and Cynthia didn't notice the changes in their daughter. They focused more on each other, picking each other's faults all the time. Mary really didn't want to hear her parents quarreling, and she was spending more and more time outside, of course, she spent it with Dom. Rodney began to avoid going home. He didn't want to see Cynthia, and Cynthia also started to contact other men. Rodney naturally knew about this, but he didn't bother to say anything about the relationship between husband and wife that existed in name only. Cynthia met a doctor named Rich, and their relationship developed rapidly. She filed for divorce from Rodney, and Rodney didn't want to entangle with Cynthia anymore, but the only thing Rodney couldn't let go of was daughter Mary, he must take Mary away. However, to everyone's surprise, an accident happened. Rodney suddenly received a call from Cynthia when he was at work, and Cynthia choked up and said to him, My daughter is not breathing. Rodney couldn't believe this fact. He didn't know why his daughter was fine before going to work in the morning, but why she suddenly stopped breathing. Rodney came to the hospital anxiously and rushed into the emergency room. Looking at his daughter lying motionless on the hospital bed, he collapsed to the ground in despair. He begged the doctor not to give up his daughter, but the doctor shook his head helplessly at him. 
Afterwards, Rodney held a funeral for Mary. At the funeral, Cynthia and Rodney cried heartrendingly. The family members and friends on the side were silently wiping their tears. No one noticed that there was a tree on the side. A crow is staring at the girl in the crystal coffin. When the crystal coffin was opened, Rodney rushed over. He hugged his daughter and wanted to kiss her for the last time. Suddenly, the crow flew over and stuffed a stone into Mary's mouth. At first people wanted to drive the crow away, but the crow kept repeating this action, as if telling people something. This caught Rodney's attention, so he called the doctor. Sure enough, the doctor found that there seemed to be something in Mary's mouth. He picked up Mary and patted her on the back vigorously, and saw a small wooden stick coming from Mary. It flew out of his mouth. It turned out that Mary ate the stick by mistake, but the careless Cynthia didn't notice it at all, which made Mary almost choke to death. Fortunately, the crow discovered this and successfully saved Mary. After a period of time, the comatose Mary gradually woke up. This was a miracle for Rodney. He hugged his daughter tightly and swore that he would never be separated from his daughter. Mary also hugged her father. At this time, she saw Dom outside the window, it was Dom who saved her, and Dom has been waiting for Mary to wake up. At that moment, Mary felt the love she had never felt before, not only from her father, but also from Dom standing on the branch. Thank you.